No freaking way, guys. Check what out. Check what out? Yeah, sure. Check out what I've just found. A spawner. We're here on, as many of you suggested, um, we're here in, inside of, yes, we are inside of, um, Alpha Centauri, that's what we're gonna call it, um, cause that was the popular suggestion. <laughs> um, where was that? Where was that dungeon I was just at? I can't believe I found a dungeon, though. I've only found, uh, one dungeon, I think, so far in this world. Where was that? It's, I can't even find it. Oh, it was up here. And now I found another one, so that's just cool. It's another skeleton spawner. We'll see. Um, so yeah, last episode, holy. Um, we came up with the idea, or I came up with the idea, to make an alpha-themed base type of thing in um in our survival world so i'm using alpha textures and stuff and um alpha texture packs alpha sounds so a lot of things are going to look and sound really different um there's some things that shouldn't really be here like this stuff mm -mm. no 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 but anyway it is what it is we can oh snap okay so um yeah, so basically, um, there's basically, um, not speaking very fluently, uh, we're probably gonna want to make an alpha, alpha type of farm out of this, um, yeah, for sure, um, but basically, we're going to be using, like, alpha blocks to make, to build, instead of using, like, um, instead of using, like, the current blocks. Like, I like to build with blackstone a lot. We can't use blackstone here because it's not allowed. <laughs> it's not an alpha block. It's really new to the game, so we can't do that. Where are our coordinates? I am so surprised I found a spawner, though. Like, bro. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's get out of here. Um... I don't know, I think I might sleep away the night, even though beds weren't technically in the game at that time. When, um, let's take the iron, or the coal also. Um, even though beds weren't in the game at the time, um, I think I'll still take, I'll, I think I'll still sleep the night away, because right now, <laughs> I've died, I've almost died so many times already, and... Like, I have netherite armor on, and I'm using a diamond sword. It's just... It's tough, guys. It's so dark, too. I have my brightness turned down all the way. Um... Oh, snap. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of scary. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, today, I also want to check out where the stronghold is, because we do have two... Um, I have my sound really loud, I just realized that. Hopefully that's not an issue. <laughs> I don't want to have to re-record this. I better check on that just to make sure. Okay, I think I might have an angry enderman after me. Although I don't know where. <laughs> Thought I did. Spider. Where is he? Yeah, so there's a few, um, issues with the texture packs, like the spider's eyes are white for some reason, instead of, I don't think that's right, <laughs> instead of being red like they should be, uh, very creepy, actually, I don't like that, it's very, it's a lot scarier than regular, uh, Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm not talking fluently at all. Um, trying to find my way back. Is it there? I know where I am now. This is where I died last episode. Or, did I die twice? I can't remember if I died twice or just once last episode. Alright, I found my way back. Okay. <laughs> oh, no! I was right by my bed. So I got in bed, 
I slept. I got up to do something. And bam. Oh, we're down to one boat left, guys. This is not good. Oh, we have a portal. What am I doing? Duh. Okay. Yeah, this portal system is really nice. <laughs> oh, man, there's a stupid skeleton in the portal. No, 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 no. Okay. He blew up my bed. Come on. Ugh. I should have paused the game. I've been playing a lot in creative mode. Not in this world, obviously. This is our survival world. Um, I just have to specify that because sometimes people would be like, Oh my gosh, you cheater. You went in creative mode. Yes, in a creative world. Uh-huh. Um, but anyway. Um. Yeah. Why do I have so much stuff on me? Okay. Do that. Oops. But yeah, um... It's like the third time I've gotten blown up by a creeper. Uh, but yeah, um, basically, um, so yeah, I, there's a few things. I don't know what it is about this, but, like, the game is a lot harder now. Um, I don't know why, but it just is a lot harder. <sighs> I don't know if it's because I'm in the forest biome and I'm, like... Well, for one, it's that I'm not sleeping, so that, that makes sense, but it, it seems just harder than just that, because normally I survive, so, <laughs> I don't know. And I did sleep, too, like, I slept away the night, and then when I got up, a creeper blew me up, so. Oh, man. Hmm. I don't know. I think there's a bee nest somewhere. I want to get that, just so that way I can not have bees here. I don't see it though, so that won't be an issue if I can't find it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Maybe we'll head back to our main base. Um, creeper. Alright. Uh, maybe we'll head back pretty soon. Um, I thought I had an enderman mad at me, but I think he must have died. And I think fire aspect's a little glitchy right now with endermen, where the fire aspect, like, they're not dropped. Well, I guess, I guess they don't have any rare drops, but they're not dropping XP, so, um, like, from the, I also killed a pillager with my bow, and it, for some reason, like, the, the, um, raid captain, and for some reason I didn't get the effect, so, I think fire aspect and flame might be a little bit glitched out right now, where it doesn't always count as your kill for some reason, even though it should, because it is, it is your kill, it's just... It's just, oh man, the black outline around the food. Why was that there, by the way? Like, what was the point of that? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I tried to edit some sounds, because some of the sounds are a bit strange. Like, um, not that. <laughs> um, sand sounds weird. Listen to this. It's like normal. Almost. It's like a little bit more drawn out, but it's like, it's not like, I thought it was supposed to sound like this. So, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's head over to our main base. We have two ender pearls and a ton of blaze rods. I went blaze farming today, so. Um, I do want to do something with that dungeon, but maybe we'll come back to it later on. I want to find the stronghold today, but we're obviously not ready for a dragon fight, being that we can't even survive an alpha minecraft. So, um, oh, that last sound sounded so weird. It's like a different sound. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I might have heard that wrong, but it sounded so weird. All right. So yeah, let's let's get heading back though. Oh, why did I only have one level? Did I not? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's head back. Oh, the skeleton is still here. At least I have stuff this time. What did he have on his bow? Okay, unbreaking. Alright. Dude, I just killed another skeleton and got his bow. It's like the second one that's, that I've killed and dropped a bow in a row. Uh, I don't need these extra bows, though. Okay.
All right, so I know that you can, I know the normal way of crafting, or not crafting, um, using uh, Eyes of Ender is to, you throw one, you go that direction for maybe 100 blocks or so, you throw it again, and then you kind of just have to guess where it is. Um, and that's great and all, you know, it takes like a day, but like a full real life day, and it's a little annoying. Yeah, you, you know what, this, this might be dangerous. Let's go get our netherite chest plate on. All right, so we throw the Eye of Ender, and I'm going to uh, look directly at it. I'm going to take a picture of the angle, and yeah, I'm going to separate these so I don't accidentally throw two. All right, I think I'm ready for this. Where'd it go? Okay, right there. So the angle is... Uh, 120, is that what it is? Yeah, 120.6 it looked like. So, 120.6, and now what I'm going to do is, oh, and I forgot, I was supposed to look at my coordinates, too. I'll have to rewatch the video there. I'm going to go, I'm going to have to rewatch the video, but basically, for my starting spot, you know, let's try this again. I'm going to put a gravel block right here, so that I stand here. Actually, you know what I should do? I should start at a... I'm going to start at, whoops, start at 0x and minus 600z, so over here, just so that way I can do the math a little bit easier. So yeah, you should be able to use trigonometry to find it, because, um, yeah, so I'll start here. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to throw the eye of ender, it was like, that way, right? Oh man, it's nighttime. Oh no, I did I seriously lose my bed? Oh no. Okay. Uh yeah. Okay. So one sixteen point one. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk um five hundred blocks this way. And I'm going to see what the angle is. So we're going to go to minus 1100x, or no, minus 1100z, and still 0x. And we're going to throw it, and we should be able to calculate exactly where it is. Because if you go, so we just figured out from 0 minus 100, we figured out the angle that it's going to be at when, you, when, we, when we go that way, right? So... Uh, should we take our bed with us? Yeah, let's take our bed with us. Um, I don't know how far of a journey this is going to be. Let me get rid of some of this stuff on me also. Okay. Uh, I don't want to lose a lot of this stuff, so yeah. Uh, let's actually... I'll take that, like these. I don't really need that, actually. Uh, I'll put those back. Okay, there we go. Oh, I put my good bow, though. Switch those. There we go. Okay. Take the water. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, now I'm going to walk 500 blocks that way. So, the original angle was 116.1, I believe. Um, so, oh, boy. That was bad. That was so stupid. Okay. Um, yeah, like, I don't think I got XP from that second guy. I don't know if I got XP from either of them, actually. Um, but, yeah, so... We're going to go back to that spot, wherever it was. Uh, and then we're going to walk 500 blocks that way. Um, so I should be able to find it in two eyes of Ender. So I used one so far, in theory. Now I'm going to walk to uh, uh, minus 1100 on the, on the Z. So yeah. Okay, and when you do this, if you come to a wall like this... What you can always do is go around. You don't have to stay on the zero on the X coordinate the whole way. Um, in fact, I don't think you need to actually end it on the zero coordinate. I'm just doing it because it's easier. Uh, you don't have to be on the zero. It can be any X coordinate, any Z coordinate you start with. But zero, zero is probably the easiest, but that's quite a ways away for me. So I'm just going to do this. <laughs> uh, We're getting close. 
Oh, I gotta avoid that village, too. I might have the effect and just, like, it not display for some reason. I kind of doubt it, but I don't know. That was really weird. I killed a pillager. Like, a raid captain didn't get the effect, so. Oh, yeah, we're really close now. To the, to the spot we need to go to, not the stronghold. Uh, gotta go a little bit this way. But yeah, we're getting really close to where we need to go. Alright, uh, right here. Uh, I don't have gravel. I guess I'll have to use, uh, no, let's just do spruce wood. And yes, I'm going to leave a floating tree. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now we throw it again. This has me scared. I'm afraid I'm going to lose it in the leaves. Here, let's, let's pillar up. Just so that way I can see which angle it goes at. Okay. So we're going to be this ugly pillar. Alright. So it was like this way. Was it 116? So it was like over here. Okay, now it's way over here. So, oops. So, 85? That seems weird. Was that what it was? It was 85? Did it seriously go in the ravine? No, it's right here. Okay. I took a screenshot of it. Like, I took a screenshot before by accident, and then I was like, oh, let's actually do that. That'll make it a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to use, now I'm going to try to use trigonometry to figure out where it actually is. So, um, so I think the second one was, at, like, over that way. So it's probably, yeah. So essentially back where we were, it was that way from there. So if we, it could be anywhere in a straight line from that location in that direction. But now that we have another line, it's where these where these two lines cross. So, like, say that we threw it from here. Like, say that's where the stronghold is. From here, if we threw the Eye of Ender, it would go this way, right? So it's somewhere along the straight line path. That's all we can tell. But if we stand over here, now it's going this way. So we can tell that it's in this direction. And where those two lines meet... That's where it actually is. So I should be able to tell the uh, the exact location of it based on what I just found out. And I'm going to leave this here as a little present for myself later on. <laughs> Mainly because I don't have an axe and I don't feel like dealing with it. I normally bring an axe, but I've been having issues with mobs lately. So I've just been like, yeah, I'm just going to use a sword for now on. But now I need an axe. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do. Like, how I want to figure this out. So, yeah. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to figure out here is... Um, so, basically, we know that from where we started, it was 26 degrees, like, that way, I believe. Yeah, 26 degrees that way. So, 26 degrees west of north. Then, from this new spot that was 500 blocks away, we knew that it was uh, 4.3 degrees south of west right so i think that's right that's what it said so i'm pretty sure yeah so like yeah um so i'm gonna use the law of signs now so basically i know i went 500 blocks and the original angle was 26.1 and the um Based on the fact that we know that 180 degrees is in a triangle, uh, we can figure out the angle between the two spots. So, like, the angle from the stronghold to this point and the stronghold to our starting point, uh, we know that it's um, 85.7 plus 26.1 plus another number is 180. So, if we solve for that number, we get, let's see... 68.2 degrees so now we can use the law of signs 68.2 there we go <laughs> i was writing it down 
Um, we can use a lot of signs. Um, so we know we went 500 blocks. The opposite angle is 68.2 degrees. So if we take the sine of 68.2 divided by 500, um, we also know that the um, other angle is 85.7. So 85.7 degrees. So if we take the sine of 85.7, multiply... Let's see, we got to invert this. I wrote this kind of badly. Um, I should have did the... So when you do this, it doesn't matter. So if you know what I'm talking about at all. Um, the law of sines, uh, it doesn't matter if you have the sine or the angle on top. So basically what I have here is... Um, let's clear out chat. Uh, we have... I wrote sine of 68.2 over 500. Now, you can also write that as, it's not the same number, but it'll get you the same answer based on the way that you solve it. Uh, 50 over sine of 68.2 degrees is equal to x over sine of 85.7 degrees. And then we can multiply sine of 85.7 over to this side, like that. And we just solve that in a calculator and we want to make sure that our calculator is in degrees so yeah let's do that all right so we got an answer of i didn't write it down one sec 537 so it's 537 blocks away from my base which is very good news if i did the math right which i kind of have a feeling i didn't um it's 536.99 um also when you do sign like this Make sure that you don't try to cancel out the signs because it does appear that you can. You can't do that. So it's 537 blocks away from my base. Now what we have to calculate is the angle from my base because we, we know that it's somewhere. Actually, no, we know that. Um, so now what we just have to do is figure out the coordinates now that I think of it. So, um, so we're going to pretend that my base is at, or that where we started at was, was it 0 minus 600, I think? Or was it, yeah, 0 minus 600. Um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not thinking very fluently. <laughs> uh, basically what we want to do is, I kind of have an idea of where I'm going right now, so. Uh, I'm kind of headed in that general direction, basically, but um, we're going to pretend momentarily. Oh, there's that village. Is that the, our, that's our village. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to go over there because I might just have the effect just in case. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's actually very close. I didn't realize how close that was to, or actually it's quite a ways actually. I didn't realize how far it was, um, but yeah, so basically. This looks interesting. Is this the edge of a chunk? No. Okay. I was wondering if that was like a chunk error or something. Um, but, oh, we got some interesting caves. We got a lot of uh, pumpkins over here. I wonder if the pumpkins ever spawn on top of each other. Like, you can have two stacked pumpkins. I wonder. Hmm. Um, anyway, so, basically, next thing I need to do is figure out the... Um, coordinates of the stronghold. So I'm gonna do that really quick, and yeah, I'll I'll update you as I go. All right. So the next thing I did is I took the sine of um, 26.1 and the cosine of 26.1, multiplied both of those by 537. So then I add that to our original coordinates. So we know. We have to go this way and this way from our original spot. So we want to go to um let's see. I'm gonna go negative x and negative z. So we're gonna add uh oh I didn't oh yeah I did. Okay. So the sine of 26.1 is 482.24. So we add that to our x, so 488, 482 on our x, minus 482x, so that should be our coordinate. 
minus 482. This is all new terrain, by the way. I haven't been out here yet. <laughs> this is the one direction I haven't gone, I think. Actually, no, I haven't really gone uh, southeast very much either. I've gone pretty much every direction other than that, though. Uh, 482. Whoa, getting some lag. And we add 236 to our original coordinate. Well, actually, we subtract 236. So make sure you don't flip-flop your negatives. 236 plus we started at 600. So that's 836. So 482 by 836. Wow, this is pretty close. Assuming I did everything right, which I assume I did. I don't know what I would have done wrong, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's a mountain. Great. So there's going to be tons of silverfish. Oh, can't get up here. There we go. Hmm. All right. What is our coordinate again? Eight thirty-six. Yeah. <laughs> Took me a sec. I was trying to find where I'd written it down. Wow, that looks easy to get up. It's like a. Oh no, man. There's one coal block in the way. Dang it. Mess everything up. Uh, eight thirty-six. That's what we're looking for. Hmm. <laughs> so it's actually not very far at all. See, we're getting pretty close here. Let's see. Yeah, this is about the spot. Let's see, does it where does it go? Does it go down? Ah. Uh, did it go this way? I didn't see. Where did it go? I thought I saw particles that way. Okay, it's still going that way. Did it go in the water or did it snap? Well, I would have been able to do it in two, <laughs> if only I would have done the math right. Uh... Alright, so yeah, we're going to have to do this again. I'm going to start at... Um... I'm going to start here, I guess. I'll start at minus 500x and minus 1000z. Hopefully, hopefully we're not too far from it. <sighs> I thought I was almost there, and I thought, oh, this is great. Our stronghold is really close to our base, and I went in the right direction, probably, because that's really close by. And no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Definitely not. Darn it. Dog nabbit. <laughs> oh, man. What did I do wrong? Let's let's try to figure it out. Um, I'm going to try again. Oh, goody. We got pillagers over there. I love how they just stare like you're the suspicious one. They're like, whoa, someone sus AF coming through. Oh, man. I like these spots here where it's like this, where you just like have stone on the surface. I think it's because of the cave that fails to generate. I'm going to do this in a little bit of a weird way, but I just don't feel like dealing with mountains right now. Okay. Uh, pillar up, so that way we can see which direction it goes in. I might have copied down one of the directions wrong, too, so that's another option. So I just want to check something. Okay, so the first number is the only number you really have to focus on. The second number you don't. Yeah, throw the eye of ender. Okay, 95.3, so it's just a 5.3 degree angle that way. Okay, I'm going to write that down. 5.3, okay. I hope I get my eye back because, yeah. <laughs> I only made two. I, I was pretty confident. Last time I did this, I did it right. So, oh, what was our coordinate? Minus 500 by 1,000, yeah. 
minus 500 by minus 1000 okay and 5.3 degrees so i'll draw what that looks like 5.3 there we go okay so now we're gonna head this way just because it'll be easier and i might be really close to it if i go this way so i'm gonna leave a block here minus 500 by 1000 here we go the cave down there cool all right so now i'm gonna go 500 blocks this way so yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, here I am. Let's throw it again. Last time it was at this angle. Right? Oops, excuse me. <laughs> I just ate. The worst time to record. Alright, back that way. Alright. So, 16.3 degrees. Where did it go? What? <laughs> Did it get destroyed? I think it might have. Alright. Well, 16.3 degrees. Um, That was off of 90 degrees. So yeah, 16.3 degrees. So yeah. Alright, I'll figure out the math ahead of time and then I'll plug the numbers in this time. Maybe that'll help. Alright, so I think I got the coordinates figured out. I got minus 880 and minus 1035 for our coordinates. So we have to head in that direction. Obviously, that makes sense because that's the way the, the eye of Ender went. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I modify the Ender. So in my last world, I was able to locate the stronghold with just one eye of Ender <laughs> because I didn't screw up the math. Um, so we're going to head there, see if we can find it. I'll explain what I did in the meantime. Um, it's about a hundred and... hundred. 125 blocks away so um basically uh the way i did was i did the same thing as before i did the law of signs and i calculated that i needed um that the diagonal angle here is or the length is 125 and then i used 125 sine of 16.3 because that's what angle we're at 16.3 and 125 cosine 16.3 and i came up with they're gonna be in the ocean oh did we pass it i think we did 1035 yeah we did wow <laughs> okay uh yeah i'm gonna cut all right so we're here at minus uh minus 880 minus 1030 I should not dig straight down. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so my hope is that at best, um, we at least find a cave that leads to it. Perfect. We found a cave. Can I break this block? Oh, I can break all the blocks. Okay. And it's not going to take you right there. Usually you'd want to use the Eye of Ender. Whoa. To get yourself a little bit closer. This is just so you can save on Eyes of Ender, basically. <gasps> oh boy, it worked, guys. We used math to find the stronghold. So if you do this, guys, and you say, you guys that say, oh, that's not good. We don't want to free the silverfish. Oh no. Well, um, yeah, anyone who says algebra or trig, trigonometry, who uses that stuff? <laughs> I do, guys. <laughs> and you can too, guys. It really does help. It is something that you can use in life. It's not It's not just something that's, um, that's for engineers and other stuff. You can use it. It's just people don't... And there we go. There's the portal room. Um, just like that. So it really is something that there's applications for in real life. So... Um, yeah, I gotta clear my throat. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, so, yeah, we're gonna have to go to the end sometime soon, guys, because there is... We did just find the stronghold, and we don't have... I need to farm up ender pearls. is what I gotta do. Let's see. Let's make a portal that goes to... Well, let's find where at least we need to set up the portal. Uh, we're at... Minus 880. Whoa. Uh-oh. 
minus 880 and minus 1000 so uh roughly so that would be um one minus 110 and minus 125 i think yeah that seems right so yeah let's go there in the nether and we'll get a portal set up awesome though this has been great guys i've I'm really happy that I was able to find it. Even though I did mess up at first, I was able to find it. So that's really cool. Um, oh. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where are they at? I don't know. Do they not spawn inside the walls? I thought they did. What? Ah. Uh. Okay, well, I just learned something. You don't want to use sweep attacks on these guys, because that's that won't work. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to probably clear out a lot of this. Actually, I think you can use silk touch, can't you? Uh, is any of these? This one's infested. Oh, you can use silk touch. Oh, that's awesome. So you just go like this. Okay. That is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to take advantage of that, guys. That I can use Silk Touch on this. Oh, man. That is so cool. I did not know you could do that until just now. I thought, I'm, I just, like, maybe you can use Silk Touch. Like, I knew you could do it. Oh, what? <laughs> can doors now not have a block underneath? What? <laughs> what is this? Is this another room? Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, there's a skeleton attacking me. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is really cool. Oops. Um... This is where I was supposed to lead. This is where the Eye of Ender actually goes. So it was very close. Uh, about mm, 40 blocks away. It probably would have been closer if I would have... Um, like, there's a few things that you can do to make it be a little bit more accurate. These are so... These glitched doors. Is that allowed now? Like, does the game... Oh, this is weird. Is this just... What? So confused. Alright, um, yeah, so I think that's about it for today. Um, one thing I want to do next episode is, and I'm super excited that that worked. Um, holy cow. Okay, that was bad. Oh boy. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was. <laughs> That had me scared. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> My stuff would have been gone. Oh, man. Amazing, though. This is... This is super amazing. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. I don't know how long it's been. Hopefully not too long. We got a geode. These always have creepers in them, I've noticed. Oh, weird. Okay, then. I guess the geode overlapped the generation of the stronghold. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I made a lot of sticks. All right, well, that's about it for today. Thank you for watching. Calcium Captain Smodum Tardum. Have yourself a great day, and goodbye.